Damn, damn, damn. Oh, man. You know what, man? I ain't even gonna sweat it. Because as soon as we start getting our traction, we talking with Rayma. I mean, we getting our Preston John popping. As soon as we start building our traction, they always send some energy over here to try to jam us up. You know what I'm saying? Try to shake up our momentum. Because it feels so good to talk about the tree of life. It feels so good to talk about eating. It feels so good to surf the wave and the ether. Now, we've been surfing the wave with this book and this author for years. I got this book from a sister named Selma. And she said, yeah, you know, I, I had a hard time getting this to you, but I want to make sure you got it. That's how we got this book. And every time we drop it, man, we say, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's our it's one of our favorite books to drop, man. Forbidden Histories of America by Daniel Lowe. And we always shout the author out. We always give credit to the author. Just like the Horace Butler situation. We give credit, but they don't like our criticism. They take issue when we make our corrections and say, no, we're not talking about Roman Jewish colonies in America, Mr. Lowe, in the 700s in America, the converts ain't even converted yet with King Bulan yet. The converts ain't even converted yet. We can't talk Roman Jewish colonies in America in the 700s. You're talking Hebrews. You're talking about the Negro, the Naga that's here, the Khan that's here. Now, they don't like our criticism. So what do they do? We didn't write a book about it. We don't monetize our channel. We make zero money from YouTube. Zero money from YouTube. We are discussing the book. I mean, what are we talking about? Copyright? Hold up, man. This shit is crazy, man. This shit is wild, man. <laughs> man, what is it? Copyright, fair use? You know what I'm talking about. Educational purposes on. What's this right here? We might have to get a a JPEG up to clarify our perception. Fair use. The copyright laws of the United States recognize a fair use of copyrighted content. So because you write a book. And you don't like what we say when we criticize it. It gives you no right to come over here and pick on us as a scholarly community, a book club, putting it all together. Because we want to, you know what I'm saying, use bits and pieces of your work to corroborate or to validate or to compare research. And we do it gracefully. But you don't like the criticism because what it points to is that these black people right here or who you're talking about when you say Roman Jewish. You're talking about the Roma, the Romani of India. You're talking about the Ramon. Hebrew Ramon means pomegranate, pomegranate, granata, kalelus, bang, promised land. Now that's what's in this book that we've been digging on. Forbidden Histories of America. This author come over and yank down the entire the entire series of forbidden histories of America one of everybody's favorite series cuz we're we're correlating our research with his but because we don't take all of it because we dodged the hijack oh, i mean we have a we have a actual right you know to have our criticism you know we can talk about this copyrighted work because this is our channel. This is what we do. We're not plagiarizing your book. We're not infringing on your copyright by discussing your book. For the purpose of criticism. We are allowed by law to criticize your work after you write it. It is not an infringement of your copyright to criticize or make our comments just because you don't like what we saying. Just because you don't like what we saying, man. This author, where's his name? Right here. Daniel Lowe. 
We shout him out. Every video we dropping is. He went back to 2017. And took down all this good information. Now don't even trip. Because we are building our own platform. We can you know upload and do all this. And I'm working on getting the feature up. So that I can actually upload videos of this size. So we can start backing everything up. You know on our own. Because it's our work. Not yours. You know what I'm saying. When we want to use parts of your work to criticize then we have every right to do it to build our work to build up our own thesis our own hypothesis to have our own theories to be scientific and use repeatable and observable information research repeatable and observable is science we're being scientific as a scholarship community in drop nation we don't monetize our channel we're not selling your book and, and putting our name on it we're not infringing on your copyright by discussing and making comments for purposes of criticism comments news reporting teaching is what we're doing here teaching ourselves you don't like that we don't let you teach us because we dodged the hijack teaching included multiple copies of classroom use this is our classroom man scholarship or research we fought Horace Butler we got our channel situated I had zero copyright strikes I look up last night careful you have two copyright strikes out of nowhere now they took down how many videos let's count Forbidden Histories of America part 8 Forbidden Histories of America part 4 5 1 7 so they took down about seven or part eight. So eight videos. Now you know we go in on these videos. You know they're about two hours long a piece. Times eight. That's 16 hours of recon. You take down Daniel Lowe, Daniel Lowe, Daniel Lowe. I mean, if this is Daniel Lowe, you know what I'm saying? Just like the Horace Butler thing. If that is Horace Butler. Could be just a maniac talking shit, but they just let it rock. But nah, we had confirmation that that was definitely uh, HB, right? I ain't gonna call no names. I'm chilling, man. I'm eating up. I'm chilling. Even this guy Daniel Lowe, you know, all these people could be psyop, whatever. They're using all this stuff, but you know, they're trying to, you know, crumble our foundation. But look, we dropped this in 2000. And 17, man. So if you ain't got this drop by now, maybe it wasn't meant for you. Because we keep telling you, they're going to come after this stuff. You're talking about it. They don't like it. They're going to come after it. This dude took down eight videos at once. How do you do that without even proving your, your case of a copyright infringement? They said, oh, uh, because we believe this might be uh, infringing on the cop well that's your belief that does not give you the proof to take down all our drive man look man this channel right here is for the people every bit of these views and subscribers and whatever man it only it's only about the people it's only about the people we're rocking with our people here we do it for free we're dropping it for free you dig this is all a free channel for the people. You wrote a book. We're going to criticize it for free. We're going to make comments for free. We rocking in scholarship for free, man. So ain't nobody capitalizing or benefiting because you write something. We can take a benefit out. That's called extraction. That's called alchemy. That's called getting the dropout, getting the baby out, getting the Moshe out the bathwater. Now, Daniel Lowe know what we talking about. He knows this is the promised land, but he wants it to be a Roman Jewish colony. He don't like when I correct him and say, oh, you mean Israelite. You mean the Hebrews. You mean these black people, right? 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 Nah, man. They said, nah. No. That's too powerful of a connection for these Negroes right here. But then he's talking Solomon and Sheba and all over the place. He even got the pictures up of these copper colored people. But you don't like what? What did I infringe on for you to take down all this and give me automatic too? So you just want to destroy us. 
The information we're using is so powerful. You don't even want to validate it. Just like the Horace Butler thing. You didn't want to validate where we're going with this. You just want to destroy it if you could. Tear it all to pieces. And shame on you, man. Shame on everybody that wants to destroy what we're building. Destroy our investigation. Destroy our flow. They hate for no, for no reason. Don't know me. Don't know what's popping. Just got hate in their heart. Y'all better choose up and choose up real soon. Because if you think you're going to be over here just, you know, shooting daggers, you got a whole nother reality about to come to you. Because we don't play play. And this ain't play play. At all. We rock with the creator and the creator only. This ain't shit. This is that bullshit, man. Because, you know, I put a lot of time into this. We put a lot of work into this. We want the people to have the information. you going to saunter over here a year and a half later and then start removing all the videos that pertain to any part of us, you know what I'm saying, doing any cooperation with your work. <laughs> the hundreds, the hundreds, the thousands of PDFs and books we read you telling me that any of these authors, if they're alive, can just say, oh, you've been reading a piece of my work? Well, I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to destroy all the work you put into making your own point, your own investigation, your own study. I'm going to tear your study down because I don't agree with your work. This stuff has been going on since people began to counter the machine, to counter the crap, to counter the false information. They want Kalelus to be Jewish, man. They don't want it to be Naga. We make it Naga, they tear it down. How you remove all eight videos at once unless you're working with somebody? So they're giving these people the free pass. And at any moment, any of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos we drop over here, at any moment, this is their angle now. Because we give them nothing else to work with. Because we don't make no contract with YouTube. We don't monetize with YouTube. None of that stuff. You can't play ads. If you see ads on our videos, they're forcing ads in there. They're, they're bringing up miscellaneous. Oh, we heard uh, a song that was 19 seconds long. And because of this song, we can now play ads. Because, you know what I mean? Either, either we could take down the video or we could play ads. on. You know, they bully these ads in our thing, man. That's why I ain't fucking with YouTube, man. That's why I'm telling y'all. And they know. Look, man. I'm making my dismount. But y'all ain't gonna, you know, be over here jamming up our energy. You know what I'm saying? We know where we going. We know we drive nation. We know we surfing away. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you everything. You know, we're gonna be continue to frame and shape our platform so that we can drop directly in the ether all we're doing. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what we're doing right now. I mean, we already got our joints. We already are live, reading the same drop. Why? Why? You know what I mean? We already are doing this, but it's about to get even more crystallized, man. Cause we can't depend on nobody. Over here, jamming us up. A psalm of David. We're just talking David, right? Why? Who is Preston John? The servant of Hawa, who spoke unto Hawa the words of this song in the day that Hawa delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, I will love thee, Hawa, my strength. Hawa is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My power, my strength, in whom I will trust my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon a wah who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. 
in my distress, I called upon Hawa and cried unto Hawa. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth. Verse 8. We're just talking dragon, right? There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. We just talking dragon, right? There went up smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down. And darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. We're just talking dragons, right? Smoke out of his nostrils, fire out of his mouth, and he's flying. Yeah, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. Hawa! He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the sky. We're just talking dragon, right? Dragon lairs. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the sky. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. Hawa also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yeah, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomforted them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, Hawa, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. Mm. He sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity but Hawa was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Hawa rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of Hawa and have not wickedly departed from my power for all his judgments were before me and I did not put away his statutes from me I was also upright before him and I kept myself from my iniquity therefore hath Hawa recompensed me according to my righteousness according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight Verse 25, Psalms 18. With the merciful, thou wilt show thyself merciful. With the upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure, thou wilt show thyself pure. And with the forward, thou wilt show thyself forward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people but will bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle, a why my power will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my power 
have I leaped over a wall. Mm. That's that ether. Baruch. As for Hawa, his way is perfect. The word of Hawa is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust him. For who is Hawa save the creator? Or who is a rock save our power? It is Hawa, our power, that girds me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like hinds feet and sitteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war. Nah, my naga, sit back and be docile. Don't learn your old ways. Don't pick up a sword. He teaches my way to war. In verse 34. He teaches my hands to war. So that a bow of steel is broken in my arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of your salvation and your right hand has hold me up and thy gentleness has made me great mm. you have enlarged my steps under me that my feet did not slip I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them nah my naga just let them rock just let your enemies rock I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are falling under my feet. You're talking David, right? You're talking priest king, right? Who is Prester John? For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. Nah, my naga, let them rot. That I might destroy them that hate me me they cried but there was none to save them <laughs> man your enemies gonna cry and there will be no one to save them because mm -hmm. the enemies of Hawaii mm. Come on. the most high power uh, let go. they cried but there was none to save them even unto even unto the Lord, but he answered them not <laughs> their Lord. That's why I said it that way, because we know these are just cursed words, so we, we don't say the God and Lord and all that curses, man. We know who Hawaii is, the secure breath, the breath of security. Why? Wow. But they call on the Lord, right? They call on Zeus, right? He's Zeus, hey Zeus. There is no J. You're only left with Jesus. They cried, but there was none to save them. They even cried to their Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me. From the strivings of the people. And you have made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. Who is Preston John, the king of three Indias. Who had Gog and Magog in check. That is the function of a prester. To keep the heathen in check. Thou hast made 
me the head of the heathen, not the tail. Right now, we're the tail of the heathen. We're the tail of the heathen. Right now, you want to be the head of the heathen, not the tail. The most I told you in Deuteronomy 28, I'll make you the head, man. Just listen to me, man. Just listen up. Or you can experience a reality where you're the tail. Now, it's up to you to be aware to say, is this a reality or is this a matrix? Are we experiencing reality right now or are we in a matrix experiencing a hell-like state? Oh, surely, my naga, if you don't have your land, this is hell to you. A naga with no dragon, a naga with no land, a naga with no gold, yeah, you're in hell. <laughs> but your judgment is up, my naga. Remember the most I said, I'm going to gather you back up. When everyone witnessed the naga being in hell and didn't show the naga mercy, Oh, they lined up to benefit off of the hell-like beast mode, animal mentality that the Naga fell down into. But the rise, the sprouting sea, man, you're rising into your heaven, you're rising into your paradise. You're on the rise. Your stock is on the rise. And they all know it. Because with your awareness comes your power. Remember, all you got to do is mention your dragons and shit start popping off. Volcanoes start popping off. Just because you said the word dragon. Just because you even thinking about it. Like, are, are all these volcanoes just dragon lairs? Are these just big ass dragons waking up all over the place? Mm. Let's finish it out, man, right here. All praise to what? Wow. Hawah liveth, verse 46, Psalms 18. Hawah lives, and bless be my rock, and let Hawah of my salvation be exalted. Wait, let's back it up to 43 and make sure we get it all. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Hawa lives and bless be my rock. And let Hawa, the power of my salvation, be exalted. Wow. It is a why that avenges us and subdues the people under us. He delivers us from our enemies. Yeah. Thou lifts us above those that rise up against us thou has delivered us from the violent man hijack 101 therefore will we give thanks unto Hawaii among the heathen and sing praises unto Do your name great deliverance gives he to his king and shows mercy to his anointed, to David and to his seed forevermore. Wow, wow. That was Psalms 18, 1 through uh, 50, man. And we do it for you. Man, we do it for you, man. I mean, hey, that was an impromptu. 
You never know what you're going to hear when you go live, man, when you click that listen button. I have to everyone who's downloaded the app, man. I'm cool. I, it's, that's what I needed to hear. You know what I mean? I, I had to fall back and just absorb that Psalms 18, man. And I, you know, implore all y'all, man, go ahead and uh, just read through it. You know, because it's, it's right in your face, bro. You know, the most high is coming out with the fire. Most high is coming out with the fire. The earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because of his wrath. There went up smoke out of his nostrils. What does that sound like to you? And fire out of his mouth. And it wasn't until we really started digging, you know, into our culture when it comes to Dragons and Kitsukoto and all that, then you can see clearly fire out of his mouth, smoke out of his nostrils, and then he's flying upon the wings of the wind, you know, all in your face, bro, man. But yeah, man, you know, I forgot I was mad. I forgot I was even mad for a minute. That's why we got that Psalms 18, because we had to get our balance right, man. And now we cool, so it's all good. We're going to keep doing what we do. Drop on the drop, man. A hop to everyone's checking in for that con drop 2018 Rex 84, man. The Rayma part two. We got part three dropping soon, man. And enjoying the sacred waters of you, dog. A hop to all the real ones, man. Leaving great comments. You know what I mean? Let's do a quick uh, roll call, man. Let's let's do that and get a good dismount, man. I'm just checking in. You know, I was upset, but that Psalms 18. Calm it down. It's all good, man. Love to Michael Stovel, man. He's been dropping major drop, man. Even today, he said, da woo -wa. David, David, da -woo Lineage is still hidden among the remnant of this generation. Only the remnant will get to see their king because the creator will lead them to that particular descendant. Allow wa. Then he's going in on the Genghis Khan. The Genghis Khan bears the same schematic roots as Enoch. He said, if he bears the same schematic roots as Enoch, in the schematic language, Enoch's name means to be surrounded by a wall of protection, man. Think about that. Enoch was actually written with the Kanak. The Ka sound has the K, the Ka. And love the Thai battle who's been reading this great book, The Serpents of Wisdom. You know, letting you know that that ka is a dragon frequency. You know what I mean? This this frequency and this ka go hand in hand. And you talk to chariots and the car aligners. That ka are just referring to your dragon kings, your dragon queens, your fire, your water, your air. Your land is all dragon. When you see clearly, a lot of these tribes had certain uh, sounds, you know what I'm saying? Phonetics coming out of these uh their names like the ka, the ka, the ka. It's a very important sound. Love to Daisy Israel. The hijack is real. I'm surfing the wave. My dragon is with me. I'm trying to tell these Nagas is waking up. <coughs> my dragon is with me. The same dragonfly in my garden every time I water it. Man, people seeing they dragonflies, man. I have to Dies or Daisy. Uh, Israel, I love the King Nature, copper color within me, 365 days. Always been, uh, you know, a tremendous wave surfer, incredible energy, man. Uh, you know, I don't know what all these, uh, must be a bunch of, you know, dope little avatars, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said, yeah, cold drop, let's go. Man, I'm with you, man. I'm, I'm equally excited, brother. Love to Homicide 540, or I have a dragon, or Dawu Kanai. Depending on how you know the brother. He said, stop. You just said they come in peace. Isn't that like every alien movie? Out there they say, we come in peace. Then they destroy everything, man. That's what the hijacks say all the time. We come in peace. We come in peace. But they peace ain't your peace, man. He said, like father, like son, they're all considered aliens, not natural. Oh, uh, man, we, we've been digging on this definition of natural and nature, and we'll get it in a second, man. Matter of fact, let's just check it out right quick. We're just talking nature. 
let's go to this, a native, right? Because, you know, the definition of American is a native, copper color, naga, right? So a native means produced by nature, original. And then we say, well, what does nature mean? Because if it's produced by nature, what does it mean? What are you saying? Oh, in a general sense, whatever is made or produced, a word that co comprehends all the works of God. So when they say natural, they're saying they're produced by all the works of the Creator. Right here, it says by the meta, met, metonym of the effect for the cause, nature is used for the agent or Creator, author, producer of all things. Down here, it says produced by certain inherent powers and in matter, or we mean that they are produced by God, uh, the Creator. So when we talk nature, we're talking produced by the Creator. They just don't say the Creator. They don't want to sound religious, but they mean produced by the Creator of the Earth. And ain't nothing religious about that. That's just big facts. When you talk of being a native, produced by nature, you're saying produced by the Creator. Native, produced by nature, produced by the Creator. And, of course, that ties back into your Amaru Khan, right? Because it just says that it's a native of America or produced by Hawa of America. Of America. This is your heritage. You're of it. You're of it. Originally applied to the originals, right? Or copper-colored Negroes right here. Found here. Found here by the Europeans. So... A native simply means that the creator produced you. You're natural, produced by nature, or the creator. Hawa, hawa, hawa. Let's keep it going. These great comments, man. Let's get a few more, man. Let's get it, man. Love to uh, Irvin Reese. Let's bring it on down to the snaps, man. Always giving that a hive to tie battle, man. Much a hive. Jeremiah Bowden, big ups, great video. Them executive orders are disgusting, man. Yeah, we just hopped to everyone in that classroom with that executive orders, man. We had to get it like it's the first time because please believe these things are being revamped and remixed right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they don't respect or honor any laws or contract. Proves they won't even honor the pen. Nature. Man. Real spill. Make sure y'all get in the Templars classroom, man. The Templar is live every Tuesday, 7 o'clock Pacific. He said a hob aqua type battle. Type battle is live every Wednesday, 7 or, uh, yeah, 7 to 6. 7 to 6. 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. <laughs> 6 o'clock. Oh, man. I'm going to get it right. And CJ Battle comes in at 7, man. So, you know what I mean? We got it. We got it, man. It's a beautiful flow, man. So, the, the beautiful, you know, the. The WAPA, as my man Hiram Mark say, man, the WAPA thing. Love to hire Mark. Make sure you get in that classroom for real, for real. Is that you know when they're dropping, so you can expect it. You can look forward to it. You know the books they read. It's not like YouTube. It happens sporadically. This happens, you know, on the dot, on the schedule for you. So get in those classrooms, man. Hit up 432 to drop. You already know, man. Um, Aboriginal Leo says, nothing but butterflies and dragonflies been around me all day. Come on, man. Understand why the Midwest is, is important, leads us, leads important land for us to protect. It's the largest fresh water in the country. So the Midwest, he's saying, is the largest fresh water in the country. It starts in the streets, always already protest marches, but they have no clue what they're marching for, man. Love to Aboriginal Leo. J Hip, Hip to Real, Yo Sep to Real, get in that classroom, man, every Sunday at 7 o'clock Pacific, man. Dragon Sponsors Squad, man, he's letting you know to be a Dragon Sponsor on the wall to head over to 432 The Drop. You can sign up right here for a copper, silver, or gold, and, uh, you know, supports the whole flow that we got. All 20-plus radio shows can you know, benefit off of you becoming a uh, Dragon sponsor equally. We all share it equally. So that's what the bro is, uh, you know, letting you know, man. Dragon sponsor on the wall. Plus, he was the very first Dragon sponsor on the wall. And he has a show. So that lets you know, man, it's for real. Dragon sponsors needed. 
uh, tribal mafia, much a high four three two nation across the Great Plains. Hawa the Wada, Hawa bring them to the water. Allow Hawa the water drop. They will always be scared of the numbers that the house of Yasharala brings since the days of Pharaoh. While on our own land, Quam drop not drop nation. Quam happening now. Drakon Vision 360 degrees. We all the people. We all walk. Quam Shabbata. Man, that's that's hip the real, man. That's yourself the real, man. Much a high, man. Ty Richardson said, man, sounds like trumpets. Trumpets or trumpets. Man, they blow the trumpets. They're blasting very loud. Yep, bring about this plan. Blow the trumpet, man. Trump and Pence. All right. MJ Jones says so much for for wall being built. 45 talks about it. Yeah, you know, go into it, man. Is, is that wall going to be built or are they just going to leave the borders open, right? They wish they were natural at anything. All they are capable of, of is imitating, man. Love to Yolanda Douglas. Joe 47, man. said King Drop, man. King Drop. Great video, brother. This should piss our people off. They have these documents here, and they don't hide the shit they do, or they, or they too do. Our people just don't care to read them. Shit is sickening. Sorry for the language, brother. Our people better wake up and fast. Thanks for always dropping that knowledge, bro. I really feel appreciated. Hell, people think I'm crazy, but I'm not. I'm not. This shit been real. And they've been doing this stuff right in front of our faces, but most overlook it. They, they don't think none of this foolishness is real, but it is. And they better wake up. High vibes, man. Joe, 47, got the drive, man. Yeah, man. Her and P said, no matter how many times I hear the King Alfred's plan, it pisses me off, man. So, such an airy and demonic plan. Love to her and P. Always surfing the wave. Much a high, man. Jay Weston, 30. Your voice is soothing. <laughs> I got money for a homestead. Much a high, man. You know, just trying to calm, just trying to calm the frequency down. I know we come over here with a lot of static, you know, from, from work or the streets, man. Traffic, anything, man. So, we come over here, man. We definitely got to take that. <sighs> wow. Got to blow that breath on him, man. Got to relax, man. Uh, much a high, bro. Jay Weston, 30, says, I got money for a homestead. Peace and power, man. I mean, we, we definitely, you know what I'm saying, we'll be hitting you up, man. You know what I'm saying? See what's good so we can continue to build and continue to grow. He said, I'm ready. Get away from the Pacific Ocean. It's poison and about to set fire before too long. Fukushima, the oil spill and the volcanic eruption and the sun lotion they put on is murdering our sea life. Good lands in Missouri. Oklahoma, Arizona, dot, 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 East Texas. Uh, you already know we in that Utah. The water is getting worse down southwest and, Louis and south Louisiana, Mississippi are getting hit hard and can't eat the fish or get in the water without the risk of dying or infection. He just dropping that drop, man. Y'all go get it, man. This is some more drop from Michael Stovall. He said, in case, in case you wasn't aware, uh, John is the corruption of Sha'an or Sha'an, if you listen closely to the pronunciation of John, you're actually saying Juan because that O probably has an umlaut, all right? In the etymology dictionary, it will show Sha'an, which is the so-called Irish form. Sha'an is Shemitic from Sha'an to low, be peaceful. Man, he's just getting in, man, into the uh, etymologies. He's getting into the philology really the study of the language the, the phonetics and all that man go hey man click on these drops and see what he got man i mean you see he's breaking it all the way down to the takedown in the hebrew root which we appreciate because we really are uh you know open to learning and learning and growing man so you know he even breaks down this g this g this suits the swai all right man and the osha and the oshe all right man i can dig it i can dig it michael i can dig it Let's get a couple more, man. Sha'an, Sha'an, Ja'an. Love the Captain Kush, man. Real one, man. Been putting it down. King Alfred Plant. Straight up. 
uh, man, Tomahawk Tribe said, I might be a year late and a copper short, yet I am 52 and still in, I think, you know, that was like the wave or something like that, with you. Peace, man. Love the Tomahawk Tribe, man. And, I'm, you know, look, a lot of folks is a copper short in this, but we all learning man, and growing with the creator, you know what I mean? We all growing with the, our intentions. We, If you're here to put the right intention on the crystal, then all we can do is show love, you know what I mean? Because our creator even know that, you know, a lot of folks are going to wake up whether you got copper tone or not. You're going to have to wake up and, and tribe up and, you know what I'm saying, and respect the laws again of the creator, man. If you're willing to grow and, and learn and respect these people as who they are, you know what I'm saying? If you respect these copper color races as who they are, it ain't about infiltrating us. It's not about pretending to be us. Nah, man. It's about saying, look, you are who you are. I'm, I'm here to help you rebuild your house, rebuild your frequency. Stop trying to hijack us. Stop trying to become us. It's not about that. But, it, you know, it's about, you know, going with the flow. And if you can allow the, the water to flow, then definitely, man, you will definitely be in the wave. You will definitely be the water. You know what I mean? But, you know, play your role. You know, whether you got copper color or not, play your role because we're all on earth together. We all rocking it together. But earth comes with order. And these copper colored races are part of the first order. And this first order is being restored. And if you want to roll with that order, then crystallize it. You know what I'm saying? Help these people. Help build them back up because their creator will, our creator will restore us. Regardless, this is a matter of what side of this restoration you want to be on. You're going to find yourself over here or here. But we were found here by the so-called European. We're just talking about the copper color race. All right, these are all just big facts, man. So, again, man, love to the homie, man. Tomahawk Drive, man. Oh, man, we got a lot of good ones, man. Echo Truth, Echo Spirit, daughter of Yah, much of high. She says, bro, I'm mad as hell. Coleman is a strong part of my family tree. They literally hijack everything. Real spill. <laughs> Real spilloni, man. I think they're going to, you know, look, get these videos, download them, make sure you got copies because they will start hijacking these stuff. You know what I mean? This is, I know we're playing with their stuff. We're on YouTube. We're on Google. So we're, you know, transitioning off being in our own place so we can come over here and vibe up. You got, you know, Yosef the Real, Hip the Real in there. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> dropping major drop, Hip the Real going in. Dot we, all the family, man. You know what I mean? X, X. What else we got here, man? Dawuka, man, just surfing away. So, you know what I mean? More and more we're getting out of this spell that we have to come over to their platform and play these particular games when all they want to do is just take, take, take and break us down and act like because we have criticism and comment, then, you know, all our information, all of our investigations should go missing. The people shouldn't learn no more. Our people can't get the drop no more. Because you don't agree with our criticism and our comment and what we're teaching. We should just follow you blindly forever, right? Love to Joe Cal Calisi. Peace, King. Drop, drop, nation. Hey, hey, man. Peace and power, bro. Uh, Spirit Truck Judah. Is Israel a homeborn slave? Yes, he is. He, man, this is just hijack 101. That kind of stuff gets you out of the frequency, man. How you going to come over here? Call us a hop and let me just get out of here, man. See, you know, just out the cipher, out the cipher. But this is what we got to deal with. Go come over here and call us a homeborn slave. Hell no, we ain't no homeborn slaves. Uh, Joker, pretty Tony, but you know, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Man, on another comment, a guy, a girl named Paco or Pexo Fame mentions the Netflix series Marco Polo and how it mentions Preston John. So I went to the episode and looked for that conversation. I stopped at 3716 before Nyon's con conversion with the Pope, conversation with the Pope. They, there were two ladies talking and walking. They finally came to a baby. The mother picked up the baby and told the other lady his name was Arak or Arak. The same name as the comic book. I just saw this right now. I don't know if it's relevant to what you're talking about <laughs> in this video. Just wanted to let you know I had caught that. Shalom Aki. And keep up the good work. You're appreciated, man. Anytime you want to come drop some drop, one 
since one i think that's s-n-c-e-1 man anytime man i appreciate you and i have to the family we got a lot of family that's just now starting to surf the wave on youtube so they're starting back in like literally 2016 and this is uh one of our sisters that's definitely doing that she said i fact check and question everything so i'm glad the brothers are speaking with conviction and telling us i like direct to the point delivery versus inconclusive long drawn out and I'm not sure because it saves me the time of listening to the long wind of fluffy jive. Speaking of delivery styles and asserting theories, this was a good series because it was mostly more direct and to the point than usual. <laughs> good job. All praise the most high. The most high uses different styles. Hey, man, much I have been. You know, um, that's good. You know what I'm saying? We definitely like to get to the point and not draw everything out, you know, but... Sometimes you got to surf the wave and uh, enjoy the ride, you know what I mean? But we appreciate you for flowing over here at 432. And I have a high, man. Let me get one more, man. Let me get my time of high checking in. And love to eternal eyes, man. Be dropping that drop on that true history. Oh, man. George Washington said we got a ton of evidence going on. This guy's talking about Mars is not beyond the South Pole Wall. It's in Canada on Devon Island. Oh man. Alright, man. Let's 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 do a couple of these right here, man. Much uh Barbie Doll. She says, I wonder how different would this world be if Hawaii's dragons were allowed to rule this world. I hear we are living in a world made for oppression, for our oppression. How would it be different? Had our world conceded. Those Moors had enslaved all others. Thereby teaching them the way to treat us. Now we have lost our Nagas. <laughs> Can anyone show us the kingdoms we ruled. Before the EU's European I came upon us. Without the Moors though. Tell us what cities we ruled. With civilizations too by name. As well as for these non-believers that we have existed to rule under other another dominion please thank you you know she's just asking questions you know and yeah man it's a more on more war without the moors without moab specifically without the confederacy specifically they would have never conquered us and that's all we really you know do know for sure for sure you know what i mean so as we wake up again, you could be you could be copper complexion, just like they are. That don't give you no pass. It's all about vibration, you know what I mean? So we're focusing on the right things and asking the right questions, man. Love to Barbara Dahl. And Carrie Mayo, ah you, man, we'll end it right here. He said, the serpent is the dog. Get in the classroom, by the way. Carrie Mayo's doing an excellent job. Great presentations. Uh, just keep supporting the bro, man. And he's live every Monday at 7 o'clock following Johannitan Hebrew Prince. Get in that classroom at 6 on Monday, man. The serpent is the dog. In Spanish translation of the Bible, you will see in most cases where it says dragon in English, it will say cacao or jackal in Spanish. Now I understand why. Now I see clearly the water kind. And he dropped his great script, man, from Job 3029. He says, I am a brother to dragons and a companion to owls. In Spanish, it says, He venido a ser hermano de cacales y compañero de avestruces. Hope I'm saying that right. But you see the cacos, the cacos, the cacos. So that's dogs here. Dragons here, dogs here, dragons here. But of course, in their snake frequency, because they put it all as serpent, right? So, you know, they try to confuse you with dragon versus snake, and they like to put stuff as serpent. And their serpent or snake is their dog. The dragon is not their dog. The snake, the fox, the coyote is their snake you know what i'm saying that's their snake right there you know so we have this other picture of a snake but their coyote 
It's their serpent. It's their snake. It's their wily coyote. Their trickster. You know what I'm saying? In the uh, indigenous um, perspective, it was always the dog doing all the all the jammed up stuff. It wasn't the snake, you know, or the or the dragon. You know what I'm saying? Jamming you up. It was the dog. It was the dog headed man. It was the dog uh, frequency. You know what I'm saying? Not that all dogs are shady, but damn it. They was rocking with the dog frequency, which is their serpent. And that's, you know, the serpent is the dog. Go get that uh, in that series. I think we had a whole nother, uh, a whole nother uh, drop that we went really into that. You might be able to look it up on YouTube. Just searching uh, Coyote Fox. The Fox is the... Let me see if I could do this. Who knows if that's still up, man. Uh, King Drop Fox... Serpent. Let's see what comes up. Oh, there we go. 2017. The Greater Exodus. Old World. America's the Old World. The Fox is the Serpent, man. So, definitely go check this one out. I believe Karen May already uh, got the drop on this one here. Oh, I love the brother nature. Yeah, man. Go check out this drop right here. Uh, 2017, August 23rd, The Greater Exodus, America is the Old World Part 2, The Fox is the Serpent, man, so yeah, we just vibing up, tribing up, doing it well, man, feeling good, we might make a little dismount on this drop, this Norman drop, man, let's go ahead and get this psychopathic AI drop for the dismount, love to Chef Candy, who dropped this in the chat room the other day, and, uh, this shit is... Stranger than fiction. Stranger than fiction. So they got this robot that they call Norman. And Norman is MIT's new psychopathic AI, man. Click the link below. And, you know, I don't know if you can believe what you're reading, but after we talked about all these jam-ups, maybe it will start to, you know, get clear that when you talk about being natural, when you talk about being a native, Right. Natural. Produced by nature, right? Produced by nature, original. Natural. 